playing uh, lap four, pool six, back. Um, they achieved the damn patch in turn one, and they really like to have gone around it or up the inside of it. The lane's just empty side of it. Just lost the line, and I had nowhere to go but to him. And, um, I just hope he's okay, but he, so we can put back into the point situation. I don't know if he's going to go to the And are you injured at all? No, I don't know. Like, if it was up to me, I would have tried to, I tried to pick up the bike, but there's too many things broken on it. Yeah, and did you see Glenn moving at all? No, he was just lying still, so I knew that he was injured because I've raced him for many of years, and I know that if he's okay, he'll get straight back up. Line still, so I thought well, I was late and trying to get the people to come in and help me. But um, yeah, just hope he's alright. Hope that we can come back in the next round and be a bit more dominant in there and try to be on the front. Okay, well, the results are still pending. Obviously, your team's putting in a protest, so we hope that it all goes well. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> My name's uh, Greg, I'm uh, Glenn's older brother from uh, Glen Scott Racing, Shaw Ride. And uh, unfortunately in race two, uh, Glenn's had a, a bit of a nasty crash in quarter one. And uh, unfortunately another fellow rider has uh, hit his uh, lower back. And uh, the medical team have uh, got his leathers off. And he's uh, about to go to the uh, one of the hospitals here in, in uh, Ipswich to uh, see how his back is. And then uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, Glenn will be alright. Jamie, long time since I've been able to uh, interview you as an overall round winner. How good does it feel to be back on top again? Yeah, it feels good. You know, we uh, we have struggled this year and uh, at, at all the race meetings, and uh, you know I've, I've been struggling myself to get a, a good setup on the bike. But uh, we made a, uh, a good change to the uh, rear of the bike last night, and it, it made the bike good in the wet, and uh, we decided to try it out in the wet for. Uh, in the dry, sorry, for this afternoon, and uh, it was quite good. So um, the bike wasn't perfect. I suppose us riders are always going to win that uh, nothing's perfect, but uh, um, it was definitely a good step in the right direction, and hopefully I can uh, continue uh, continue it on. Yeah, uh, Friday practice was a down four and a half, so I, I think I ended up third over the weekend, or over that day, sorry, and then um, the second day, first qualifying was dry. Unfortunately, I ran off on the fourth lap and crashed. So, um, team raced back. Our team did a great job and put the bike back together. And I uh, went back out and qualified, but I only ended up fifth. And the second session was wet. So, uh, first race, it was a toss up whether to run dry tyres or, or wet tyres. Everyone chose wet tyres except the old old bloke, Scotty Charlton, and he outsmarted us all. So, um, that was really good of him. And then race two, I just, um, I felt good in the dry, I just had a bit of a problem, I couldn't stop. So, um, yeah, I just was being smart, I couldn't do anything, and unfortunately some people had some problems. Um, so, yeah, I think it was a bigger championship lead, so, um, yeah, good weekend, and huge thanks to the team and everyone that's helped. So, my uncle's Uncle Michael. <laughs>